This video is sponsored by Cruiseman's Garage Honda Goldwing Maintenance Video Series. Hey everybody, welcome back to Cruise Man's Garage. Today I'm doing something a little unusual. You know, you may have already seen my paint project where we took the trunk parts for this 2021 trunk kit over to Fort Worth to have all the parts painted. And as part of that paint process, I had to make a decision on what to do about the foam uh, insulation that surrounds these little trunk inserts. I thought it was probably a better idea to mask these off so that they didn't get painted. But now, in hindsight, I think I probably should have just let Juan go ahead and paint the foam itself. Because when we removed the masking tape, it actually damaged the foam. It tore, you know, it, the masking tape was stickier than I realized, and the foam was not as strong as I thought it was. So it actually tore uh, these the foam around here. I'm not sure if you can see it, but I'll try to get a close-up photo for you to look at. So now I am trying to basically replace this foam with some new foam because it's completely chewed up. And, you know, Dale to his credit, told me what I was going to be needing to look for is closed cell, low density foam. Now the low density uh, gives it the com ability to compress pretty easily and the closed cell makes it waterproof. And the idea, the whole idea behind the foam around this is so that water doesn't get into the, in between the liner and the trunk lid itself, the shell of the trunk. So it's pretty important to have, obviously. Okay, so I purchased some foam on Amazon. It's the only place I could find it, really. I mean, I could find foam in other places, but they didn't have much selection. And you know, I'm sure there are other supply houses where you can get this stuff. Now, I, unfortunately, of course, I couldn't find the perfect size that I needed. Um, I found half-inch wide foam that is a quarter-inch thick, and I found eighth-inch wide foam. I'm sorry. <laughs> Let me back up. I was able to find half-inch wide foam that is one quarter inch thick. I was also able to find one eighth, I believe it's quarter, no, it's quarter inch wide and an eighth, eighth thick. What I actually needed was a quarter inch wide and a quarter inch thick, but nobody had that. So this is what I'm left with. Now I went ahead and replaced the foam on one of these uh, as a test. I used the half inch wide, which I thought would work, and it's about a quarter of an inch thick. And as it turns out, I tried to install it, and it just will not... I don't know if it's not compressing enough, or maybe I didn't install it correctly, but it's not working. I tried to test fit it, and I can't... The side that has the little tabs, I can get to go in pretty well but the side that does not have the tabs, it just will not fit flush uh, to the uh, trunk lid. So I'm not happy with that. So the first thing I'm going to try is I'm going to try replacing this foam with the 1 8 inch tall, quarter inch wide. See if that's going to work. If it doesn't work, I'm not sure what I'm going to do, because really what I really need is 3 8 by 3 8 and nobody, I couldn't find that anywhere, even in um, millimeters. So if any of you have any better sources for this foam, <laughs> I've already spent 25 bucks just on foam. So uh, let's try this. I'm going to go ahead and remove this one. I'm going to save this one as a good one. And I'm going to go ahead and remove this foam that I have already installed. And just to see if I can get it to fit. Now there is sort of a guide. It, it's kind of weird the way Honda designed this, but there is sort of a little guide 
molded into this piece, you might say. And like I say, this foam is very, very soft and tears very easily. It's leaving behind a little adhesive. I'm not concerned about that right now. What I'm concerned about is am I going to be able to get this to fit back in my trunk and have it look right. So, okay, so I've got this foam off and I'm just going to use this to kind of measure the length of the foam. Let me try the half inch again just for grins and if I have to I'll trim off some of the excess off the edge. And let's just see if I can get that to work. And I'm gonna, I'm going to try to install it a little closer to the edge. Let's see here. Just cut a piece off. I'll make it a little bit longer because you have to overlap on one part. I know this is just riveting content, but these are the kind of details that um, you don't really think about, but. I'm going to warn you right now, uh, you may want to just go ahead, if you if you do do this and you end up having your trunk painted, I would go ahead and have these painted, the foam, just let them go ahead and paint the foam. I don't think it will harm anything. I don't think it will hurt the, the sealing ability of the foam. Uh, Honda doesn't really make any reference to doing this, so it's hard to say. But since they only offer this trunk kit in two or three colors, uh, you kind of have to do this. So here's my new piece. Let's try, and I'm going to try putting it a little farther out toward the edge. And I'm just going to try to follow it around. And it just kind of overlaps. Now I'm going to cut a little slice here and I'm going to slice that out too. So hang on, I'm going to get an X-Acto blade. Okay, this is not the way I recommend you doing this. I actually have my X-Acto knife, the handle, out in the garage. So I'm just going to use one of the blades. So don't do this at home. So I'm going to basically make a little diagonal cut here pull that out and we're going to kind of bring the foam in like this and overlap it that's the way Honda kind of did theirs here you can see of course, their phone's not as wide as this, so... Okay, and I'm going to cut that off right there. Well, I am sad to report that that did not work. Um, this quarter-inch thick, what they call quarter-inch thick foam is simply too thick. It it just will not compress enough uh, to allow this to fit flush with the trunk lid. So we're basically just going to take this off. And now I'm going to try the quarter inch wide, which is one eighth inch thick. And hopefully it will be thick enough. Hopefully it will work, period. I'm going to carry this one around. I'm going to do this one more like Honda does theirs, where they basically just overlap it. Okay, let's. this is my third attempt. Let me press all this down and into place, and I'm going to go throw this on the bike, on the trunk lid. <clears throat> it's not on the bike yet, of course. But I'm going to go throw this on the trunk, and see if, well, it just doesn't look wide enough to me. I think I'm more concerned about the width than I am the, the thickness. Okay, let me go throw it on there and see. 
Well, success, I think. It does fit. It now fits flush. The only question is, is this eighth inch thick foam going to provide enough of a seal? I hope it will. And I will, once I get these installed, I'll show you what it looks like installed. Looks fine. It fits flush like it's supposed to. And I will um, do the test where I test it, soak it down with water and see. Uh, my, the only concern would be is that the foam is not compressing enough to form a good seal. So that's always a possibility. Um, in the meantime, I'm going to reach back out to Dale, my friend. He has a lot of connections you know, in the automotive industry, and this might be a product that they've used before. Uh, in the body shop where he worked, maybe they had to order these types of things. Maybe he has a good source for uh, a different size. Now it's kind of like Goldilocks. The half inch wide is just too thick, and the quarter inch wide may be too thin. We'll just have to see. So anyway, thanks for watching today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I know it's not the most exciting video. I get that. But I want to bring you every detail of what I'm doing on this bike. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this out, finish out the other one, put them on the trunk, and we'll see how they work with water. Okay. Uh, thanks again for watching. I'll see you soon on the next Cruise Man's Garage.